to get your right click on here go to your smudge tool and let's see going back to my basic brushes what you want to do is just blend the fake neck to your real neck to make sure it's almost seamlessly and it's best to go up and down strokes and then go across strokes and it's okay if it's do two different colors because we're going to over layer that come over here blend these in to the shirt and then okay after you do that um, I'm going to go ahead and add some overlay to the to the blood now if you want you can come around here you know you you blended this you're supposed to already blend this in but if you want you can pull it down to make it either smoother or rougher if you want or if you want to just you know bring it down like this to make it look like some bones or guts are sticking out you know whatever you want to you know just mess around with it get different effects and uh, see after you do that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some blood um, get your paintbrush now I, I downloaded um, I don't know where I downloaded it from I think it was from the Adobe Photoshop website they have a, a brush a brush kit it's called blood and rust and um, it's pretty good for splatters and stuff like that um, go ahead and get a nice thing like that and then over here I already got the red picked out which is like a dark darker red this is gonna be basically for you for the clothes because um, blood is gonna be close you know it's darker on the clothes and uh, see I got the uh, opacity at 44% because you want to you don't want it to draw it out you don't want to overlap it you just want it to see through it and you just click couple of times to make you know whatever you want now that might be a little too dark so we'll do control out Z to go back about you don't want it pink you don't want it too light or too dark that's a good about like that and you just go ahead start clicking away wherever you want blood and if you want get another get another brush and you can always uh, take that and lower it down now to get the big loop big glob of, of blood right there what I did was I just used a basic brush just get a basic round brush and with the opacity still at 44 percent the color still red dark a dark red you want to just lightly pass over it and what this does too if you pass over this see how it's making it bright it makes it look more realistic it makes that little picture I had downloaded a little bit better and you see that might be a little too light so you click it again and I'll make it darker just keep going over it And um, let's see, what we do is come in here. After you added all your blood, wherever you wanted your blood at, you come to the uh, blur tool and you go around the edges of the blood and you just blend it. Just pass over it, over the blood, over the edges of the blood, or just, you know, just wherever. Wherever there's blood, just go a little bit over it over these two the lines of the blood and you get an effect like that basically that's how I did it I mean I put a little bit more time into the first one I did of course but uh that's basically how you do it and like 
this little thing back here, I had a hole in my closet door. <laughs> you just go ahead and smudge it out. Like that. And uh, another thing I did that I didn't do on here was to add a drop shadow. But I didn't like that effect uh, too much because it didn't look right. Uh, if you look at the... Uh, my other finished one, I had uh, I had drop shadow right here, and it didn't look right because the background is too far than it is, you know. So that's why I didn't do that. And um, of course, you can come over here and do more effects if you want, you know, mess with it. Um, might want to get the levels, darken it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more zombie-like, I guess. Uh, go to filter, get some, uh, go to render to do some lighting effects. And if you do like a, a light coming from the bottom up, it will have a better, like, it will have a grimmier look to it. So, I mean, you can play with it and do do different things to it. But basically, that's it. That's, uh, that's pretty much how I did it. But I hope this uh, was informative. And I'm sorry to, sorry to seem so tired, but I just got off of work. So, yeah, I'm tired. And uh, like I said, this is my first time doing a tutorial. And I hope you all find it informative. And thank you all for watching.